Do we understand what our requirements are? Or whatever is being sold to us by vendors, whatever is put on the internet, what is put as basically a propaganda also to sometimes, whether we are getting, we are falling into that, or we have a very clear cut understanding as to what is the cyber security stance and cyber security requirement of my particular enterprise. Or is it just another management task? By just another management task means that you have 20, 30, 40 tasks in your organization and one is cyber security and also being attended in the manner as you put the tick. So in the same manner, we take cyber security also. But given the nature of the things where we are in, lack of understanding of cyber security either by the CIO or your uh, chief operations officer or the CEO, anybody for that matter, will make the cyber security stance weak. And if we don't understand the requirement of our organization as to what is the nature of cyber security required, then there will be absolutely next to impossible that we will be able to get cyber security, which is commensurate to the requirement of the organization. Mostly it happens, leave aside being commensurate, actually there is no cyber security when we get a feeling and a semblance that cyber security is there. Cyber security is primarily what we call as the security of data. There are a large number of other things, but suffice to say at the end of the day, it's data, data, and only data. Now, who owns the data? How is data created? What is the data life cycle? So until, until, until unless we understand the whole data life cycle from its creation, transmission, usage, interface, it will be extremely difficult to understand what will be the nature of cyber security. We keep talking about defense of that. There are standard systems which are operating all across the globe. And while having this standard system, it is also happening that cyber security is getting weaker by the day. Are you ready to learn? What is most important is, are you ready to learn? Or you are a quick fix CISO, CIO, or CEO. We are living in an age where the cyber security is a very, very dynamic thing. It changes with the nature of connectivity. It changes with the nature of gadgets. It changes with the nature of human resources. You employ, train, recruit, and deploy. If you're not ready to understand, if you're not ready to learn, how the stance moves, it will become next to impossible to keep yourself back on. Suffice to say, a decimation of most of the enterprises happens because of the lack of cyber security. Other processes, everybody understands. When you talk about cyber security, we start from the point wherein they say that the weakest link is the software itself. And if we have to get into the capability of the software, suffice to say that at the first attack, the software breaks. There are bugs, there are vulnerabilities, which, which are known. I think MS Office Soup is the largest targeted software soup. Nearly 70% of the attacks happen on it. Nonetheless, all of us use because we don't have a choice. Until and unless you are able to explain what your cyber security stance is, until unless you understand the real requirement, until unless there is a learning, until unless there is a capability to define, and also the great determination and courage which comes out of your expertise, till particular, till that time, we will not be able to explain it to our boards. When I talk to CISOs, when I talk to a large number of cybersecurity professionals, so they speak in one unison that the board is generally not ready to give the nature of resources which is required by cybersecurity. Why is the board not ready to give such resources? Are we only cybersecurity experts or we understand the whole ecosystem? Do we understand the IT ecosystem? If you don't understand the IT ecosystem, it is equally true of the people, the vendors, the people who are giving you product, the people who are giving you services. They are also coming in a standardized mode. They generally don't know what the features are. They generally don't know what the combination of the features are. So when you are unaware of as, as to what is happening in your enterprise and the persons who are providing you the resources are also unaware as to what they are providing. So this is the crux of the problem. This is the subset where we are stuck up. And when you go for a management approval at that particular point in time, you are not able to explain as to where we stand. You are not able to explain as to this investment in which manner it will be useful for the enterprise. You're not able to explain that in case of a cyber breach, 
the earliest or the average time needed for that particular detection is around 200 days where the victim and the perpetrator are under the same roof for around 200 days what more damage that can perpetrator do is right there stealing your information is stealing your data you will be surprised that edward snowden as it is estimated was able to get away with nearly 250000 documents the documents which came to light has been only 32 and those 32 documents were enough to put the whole world on a tender box lo and behold nobody knows the exact number of documents which have been stolen seven eight years down the line since this whole thing came to the public view still we don't know and that particular incident decided the nature of cyber security the nature of privacy the nature of duplicity of government the nature of government surveillance into the public domain you can understand the the complex scenario and edward snowden was able to get into this particular data as an insider to the extent the activist which in cyber terms are known as the activist to what to which extent they can go he got into nsa in nsa he was working in geneva supposedly he realized the duplicity of the way nsa functions from geneva i think he went to other places he joined dell he was with dell in tokyo so there also he realized that he will not be able to lay his hands on the nature of data which is looking for and finally i presume that he joined abu dhan lamelton and he was in hawaii and there he was able to lay his hands on on the nature of data which we have been talking about and the, and that particular data was able to blow up the world that is certainly the biggest uh, incident accident uh, or a very meticulously orchestrated data breach in the history of data breaches which we come and hear on a regular basis